Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. APC is in the radar. They are going through a lot of um, internal squabbles. Uh, some hours ago, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, in his outburst, had made a lot of statements that uh, some persons feel is indicting. He only spoke his mind. Of course, he has also gone ahead as a sportsman, as a gentleman, to apologize over his angry outburst. But it looks like he's not done yet. In fact, it is the opportunity some of the internal persons were looking for to ground him. And I don't know how this will fare uh, generally in APC. And of course, Rotimi and Mechi seem to be going a lot to, in fact, the way things are going, we may have less than 10 aspirants to go. Before we go into the news proper to find out the dynamics that are going on right now in, uh, in APC, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. We actually have two in one. I will be quick about it. Some members of the All Progressive Congress, APC, under the auspices of Gaskia Youth Movement, GYM, are asking the Federal High Court, Abuja, to disqualify Bola Tinubu, national leader of the ruling party, from 2023 presidential race. <laughs> Report has it that Tinubu and the APC are listed as first and second defendant, while the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is recorded as the third defendant. The plaintiffs are Omar Iliasu, Suleiman Baba, and Abubakar Adamo. The three ask the court to decide whether Tinubu can participate in, in the APC primaries or that of any other political party in Nigeria, given his questionable educational background and date of birth. There's a widespread claim that the genuineness of Tinubu's university education is shrouded in mystery. But some individuals have said it has no basis in fact. The 70-year-old is among the leading aspirants in the race for who would become the APC's presidential candidate, which will be determined in the June on in the June 6 convention. Of course, Nigerians have been reacting. But let's find out the fate of Amechi before take the Nigerians' reactions generally. Well, according to the news, Rotimi Amechi, that's Kayo De Ajolo, is a human rights lawyer who says that Rotimi Amechi, a former minister of transportation, is not eligible to contest for 2023 presidential election. In a statement on Friday, Ajolo said Section 137, Subsection 1I of the 1999 Constitution prohibits Amechi from running for office owing to the allegation of 96 billion naira fraud against him <laughs> just some week river state governor has set up a seven-man panel to probe and you over the alleged withdrawal of 96 billion naira from the state's ter treasury during his tenure as the, as the governor according to ajolo the all progressive congress apc will be taking a great risk by handing over its presidential ticket to the former minister Yee, this is really dicey. Now let's feel the, feel the pause of Nigerians over what uh, may befall Tinubu. They will go to what may likely befall Amechi. Look at this. This is all the things we are seeing that all southern, southern aspirant to. Amechi, southern aspirant. Bola Akhmer Tinubu, southern aspirant. Which one is Ilyasu group for crying out loud? Now they are now raising their head. Now they now realize that. Um, Bola Ahmed Tunubu have questionable age and questionable educational uh, educational background. Let's leave the Chicago background. Bola Ahmed Tunubu is a chartered accountant. That alone suffices. I'm, 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 I'm not rooting for him now. But I'm trying to say if it's on the basis of education, that man is very qualified. Overqualification is warning that man. Look, let's not rubbish people's educational background. The question is, with due respect to our present uh, uh, president, he's not even a BSc holder. With due respect to him, he's, yes, he's a military man, a general, a retired general for that matter. But if you want to go by educational background, Tinubu has qualification, serious. in fact, if he decides not to even put his uh, Chicago qualification, he's overqualified by Nigerian constitution. So that it is because of one questionable Chicago should not even be a yastic, that's one. Two, all of a sudden, 
the age now matters. It's now 70. They're not beginning to question it. When he was speaking the form, why didn't they begin to question it? Let's feel the pulse of Nigeria. Let's leave um, my opinion now for, for now. Let's find out what Nigerians are saying concerning this matter. The South are entering one chance. They will understand the dynamics of politics. Nobody has questioned the Northern aspirants why this or why that. They're all they felt they have brought out four of the aspirants. Nobody has asked questions on their uh, on their eligibility. Nobody has asked corruption about their uh, if there's any fraud attached to them at all. There is no nobody, no movement have said anything about it. But South likes to fight South. They just love it. They, they, they bring down syndrome. It doesn't end. That's what happened to Wiki in APC in PDP. It is happening already in APC. South bringing down the South. <laughs> This politics is not ending anytime soon. This one here, let's feel the pause of Nigerians, please. This one here is saying, hmm, it shall not be well with this group that is saying they they should disqualify Tunubu. <laughs> you know, best we say, This one here is saying, it's already well with them because they mean well for Nigeria. <laughs> I'm laughing in Swahili. Look at the drama playing out. This one says, now, wow, it's increasingly becoming glaring that this man is going nowhere. Mm -mm. More so, he said, okay, I take that again. It's, it's, now, wow, it's increasingly becoming glaring that this man is going nowhere. That's what happens when you you trust a Fulani man with power. He favored Northerners at the expense of his own people, and now he has been disappointed. Oh, now, wow, this is really serious. Another person is saying, oh, God, no be issues of Fulani. What Tinubu is looking at at this is his age. If not... If not to come and increase more corruption in this country, okay, people are saying, looking at the age of Tinubu and what is happening in uh, with uh, Buhari Steno, that they don't want a situation where, you know, old age here and there may not be able to function well. Well, everybody have their own opinion. This person here is saying, I'm a lowly bruku group. <laughs> and that person here said, Tinubu should be disqualified. A lot of controversies around him. Certificate controversy, age controversy, Bullion van controversy, Econet controversy, Lucky to get controversy. Ha ha! So much controversy. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hmm. And that person, have you all, have all this been confirmed? It's only when all this can be confirmed before anyone can court, anyone can ask God to disqualify him. And that person here is saying he has, he has to be disqualified. So many controversies around him. Yoruba should root for the likes of Osiba Jo. And that person here say, uh, God will. I don't know. I will pass that. This one here is saying, God is aware of every ruler in any country. If he says it's Tunubu's, it's Tunubu's time, no one can stop him. But that's true anyway. And that person here is saying, he should have been disqualified since. There are lots of controversies surrounding his educational qualification, certificate forgery, corruption, and so on. In a sane and moral society, someone like Tunubu will not even be permitted to pick the application form. Talk less of contesting. Mm. Let us meet in our comment section. You, what is your take on this? Uh, they said he's not qualified based on forgery. In fact, they made a lot of controversies around him. And Amiji himself, another group, another person that picked him up and said he does not even deserve to be screened in. He should be screened out and not allowed to pick the form for PDP, for APC, simply because he have a, a 96 billion fraud issue to set through the reverse. Let's interact with it.